Now a News 10 NBC investigation. There's got to be a reason why my bill is $9,100. Like, there's got to be a mistake. On the day RG&E gets fined millions for not meeting customer service standards, we are investigating a $9,000 RG&E bill. We have information on the fines against rg &E in a moment, but first, this bill against a family restaurant in Greece. At 5 o'clock, you'll remember the owner told chief investigative reporter Berkeley Breen the story of an rg &E employee showing up at the restaurant last Friday prepared to shut off the power. Now at 6, Burke, you have the warning letter that came that same day. Yeah, Deanna, the rg &E employee came to the restaurant in Greece on June 14th, but that's the date on the letter from rg &E warning about the shutoff. All right, so here's the letter telling the restaurant owner what to do to avoid a shutoff. It's dated June 14th, and it actually didn't arrive in the mail until Tuesday. Lisa Seifert owns the Lampletter restaurant in Greece. She took me to the back of the building from where she says the rg &E employee called to say he was there to shut the power off. Here is the bill she's facing. $9,174. Her normal monthly bill is $1,100. You know, people have to pay their bills. Of course. But, but it seems like a pretty quick shutoff decision here. And I was told not to pay my bill by the employee. She said, do not pay your bill. She took me off automatic payments in her office as I sat there. I'm sure that I didn't have a spike in business that my bill went up nine times the normal bill. Lisa says she avoided a shutoff on Friday when she made an on the spot payment of $2,000. But the issue isn't over. She got another letter saying now she owes about $7,000. Brett? Berk, wow. Yeah, right? What is our genie's response to this? So the response is they don't comment on uh, publicly on people's accounts, but uh, customers get several warnings, they say, before a shutoff. Lisa said a customer service rep called her this afternoon after we contacted our genie and said there might have been a mistake with one of the meter reads. So they told Lisa, expect a follow up call tomorrow. Wow. Well, maybe that's the fix. Maybe. <laughs> we can hope. Thanks so much, Burke.